You are now experiencing section 2 of how to do a clean install of Windows 7 from windows7forums.com. As you can see, the setup is now preparing your computer for the first time use. So far we've covered several issues which include uh, the initial setup, putting in the DVD media, uh, running through the formatting of the hard drive and allowing the installation to begin. Uh, now what is happening is uh, setup is checking uh, up on your system, checking the video performance, assessing what your computer is capable of doing, and we'll begin the process of configuring Windows 7 for the first time. <clears throat> okay, as you can see here, we see something that shouldn't be too unusual. We get to enter our username. And what we'll do here for now, very quickly, is we'll enter a pretty much generic username, user, and the computer name will be called user-pc, which you can always customize. We'll also enter a password now for your account, which you absolutely should do. It's absolutely recommended. We recommend you use a strong password, which has uppercase, lowercase, numbers and letters. Uh, and for this demonstration, we'll enter something pretty basic here. Nice little password. And we will also definitely put a hint for our password. And we'll put the hint as uh, the name of our dog. <laughs> Make sure you use a strong password. It's, it's, it's very important and um, it's something that most people don't even bother with, but it really will help you in the long term. The account that you've created is actually an administrator account itself, um, but it's not the administrator account. And the reason we don't use the account named administrator in Windows is because the SID, the security identifier, is not exactly unique. Uh, there are portions uh, that can be uh, used against you so that administrator account is a fail-safe account that's disabled by default in Windows. So we always create our separate user account which is an administrative account. The creation of the computer, the computer name, and the password are all very important steps in the setup of Windows. And what you should really make sure about with the computer name is that it's a unique computer name. You should always make sure that there are no other computer names uh, that are being used on your network that are duplicates. Um, and you should make it something that's easily identifiable for you so that you always know what that computer is on your network. And here we'll just step up to next. And for the product key, we're just going to skip this portion. Obviously, we're not going to get out, give out a Windows product key on this demo. And we'll go, how will we protect our computer? Well, we'll use the recommended settings, which most people didn't do in Windows XP. And we'll go to Eastern Time, change our time zone here. Here's where you get to change the time. And the computer's current location is a home network. Um, what this actually does um, is determine how the firewall will um, act um, and how the sharing of uh, different network shares uh, will be applied um, with the network. You will usually only see this screen if you actually have a network connection. Now here you have uh, home groups and we'll just skip this portion. Your computer can still function as part of a work group and there really is very little reason for you to create a home group off the bat. We may do a demonstration on how to set up a, a home group at a later time. A home group is basically a work group uh, that's password protected and has a couple more features added to it. And here you can see Windows is finalizing the settings. And welcome! It looks like we've had some success here in our setup. Now, something that you may want to know 
uh, since you have done a clean install of Windows you're now starting completely from scratch and what you need to know is that there are certain device drivers that you may need for your hardware if you have an AMD or an NVIDIA graphics card you want to go to the AMD or NVIDIA website and download the proper drivers for your graphics card um, you'll immediately want to do a Windows update of your system which we can cover later um, because there are quite a few reliability and stability updates as well as security updates uh, you'll also want to go ahead and look into Intel chipset drivers which may be available for your platform Intel Corporation uh, develops motherboards if you have an Intel processor uh, what you need to do is go ahead and look for those drivers. If you have a commercial computer from Dell or Hewlett Packard, Gateway, any of those major computer manufacturers, you can usually go to their support website and they're pretty good with their driver support. They usually have up-to-date drivers, but in the event that they don't, you can go directly to the source and those sources would be Intel, Microsoft Windows Update, NVIDIA, and AMD. And here you have the Windows desktop for the first time. As you can see we don't have the Aero interface active and the reason for that is because we don't have the proper video drivers installed. In this specific instance we're running a virtualized machine. It's actually a virtual machine that requires specific drivers uh, for the operating system to run Windows Aero and to uh, use and utilize all of the uh, the uh, possibilities with Windows. But there you have it. The installation is complete and all you need now are drivers. You just right now you're operating under Microsoft Windows compatibility drivers which will get the job done for basic web surfing and email but in many cases you'll want to look up custom network drivers, custom video card drivers, custom chipset drivers, and all the drivers that you need for your computer to work properly. Thanks a lot for checking this video out and I certainly hope you'll visit us at windows7forums.com where we have loads and loads of information for you uh, in the event that you're having problems with your Windows 7 operating system or even Windows Vista. Come check us out and thanks a lot for uh, taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it will be helpful for you if you're planning on doing a clean install. Take care.